Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Gracie D. I hope you guys are doing amazing. We're doing great here in Mombasa, Kenya, the pride of Africa, the home of safaris and the jewel of East Africa. Thank you so much to my new subscribers. I really appreciate the love and support that you guys are showing me. To my returning subscribers, thank you for always supporting my content. I don't take any of it for granted. So on today's episode, it's time to go back home and I want to take you on this trip with me guys. So right now we are in an Uber. We just checked out. It's around 10 in the morning. We're going to town and then we head to STR. And yeah, let me show you STR in Kenya, how it works here, how it looks like and the experience. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share my videos. Turn on your notification bell if you haven't. So guys, when you get to the SGR, the first checkpoint is at the main entrance from the first gate that you enter to the SGR. They check what's in the car, they check the boot and you have to get out of the car. So this is us getting in at the parking lot and the, the place is very clean. I just love how it looks, you know, it looks very beautiful. And this is where you put your bags when they're checking in we were the first ones to get here at least not the first ones like maybe the second ones because in front of us there were other bags and we had to pass time sitting around waiting for our check-in time which was supposed to be at 12 30 uh, but first we decided to go and print our tickets because we got there early so guys we just got here we're going to print our tickets it's quite empty actually and our train is at three because it's an express one so we have to be here until three but the area looks so this is a ticket office we're going to print our ticket and then we'll get back to you So guys, I've just finished. We've just finished printing our tickets because we had already paid online. Friend is here after her birthday party. You know. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we just. I don't know what we do after here, but I'll keep you updated. guys we just after printing our tickets we can't check in until 12 30 we got here early on time so we have to sit here as we're waiting for the check-in time which is around 12 30. i feel bad because i didn't take anything in the morning i need to have some coffee or just something to wake me up i'm still kind of sleepy and very tired but yeah it's quite simple this will be my second time using the sgr with my friend and let's see how it's gonna go the last time i used sgr was during night time so this is going to be a day a day train and i just want to see and have that experience of using sgr during daytime if you ever used sgr before tell me how was your experience and yeah if you've never make sure to try and use it when you come to kenya or when you visit kenya and you want to come to mombasa or from mombasa back to nairobi it's an amazing experience especially during daytime i guess you get to see wild animals on your way so yeah just try it and see so guys it was our time to check in and at this gr they have very strict security they have these dogs and they are very strict so if you're using the sgr don't even think of bringing alcohol or anything illegal because there's no way you're going to get through with that their security is very strict guys we 
guys, we just checked in uh, and uh, we are sitting here in this hotel called Al Mashrik Cafe. Yeah, we are sitting in this cafe. cafe. We're going to have something to eat as we wait for the time that our train is going to be. What about chicken? Let me put some chips. No, I don't want chicken. Okay. I don't want anything to do with meat. So guys, after we sh finished eating, that was at around 2, we had to go upstairs to wait for the train time because the train was leaving at 3. As you can see, these, all these people that you're seeing, they've just arrived with the uh, 2, 2 p.m. train. I bet they're all coming for vacation. Seems like most of them are tourists. As you can see, when you're coming to this place, you usually don't need a taxi or an Uber. If you don't have enough money for that, there is always the public vehicles that wait for people here to drop them in uh, different areas. And as you can see, they also have taxis and other cars, maybe from hotels waiting for their visitors. You can see guys over there trying to collect their guests or to pick, trying to pick their guests. So it was finally time for us to go and start our journey. What surprises me most when I'm traveling is, you know, people are really complaining about economy here in Kenya. And this SGR was full, like I'm not lying, like we were so many. <laughs> and I think that's why our president is not listening to us and he still wants to tax us more. Because, yeah, I think Kenyans, they have money, but they always like complaining. Huh? I don't know why Kenyans watching me. Tell me what you think on the comment section. Coach number six. Coach number six, coach number four, you go to your left side. Coach number five, coach number ten, you go to your right side. Coach number five, coach number ten. Coach number ten. Now, come back up and you're
so guys after checking we had enough you know storage you could see the temperature what's the temperature was outside and it didn't take us long we just started our journey as soon as everybody was settled down and these are the views that you have that's why i really wanted to use sgr during daytime as you saw i used an economy i used economy class i was planning to use a business class but anyway yeah so the thing is the big difference between economy and business is that you have more space to stretch your legs you have a charging port next to you you don't have to struggle if you need a charging port or if you need a, a to use a, your laptop you still have enough space for that so uh you have the same experience when you want to uh, see what's going on outside so if you're in a position to use a business class i would really advise you go for it because economy it's very tiring you're just sharing like a very small table for all of you so in business class you have your own table you have your own seat and you have a big space to yourself enough to stretch your legs and it's more enjoyable compared to using an economy class the next time that we're going to mombasa i'm not sure if i want to use the train again because of time at this time at uh, this day i was very tired after you know being partying and enjoying myself in mombasa going back on a train was a bit hectic for me and because we also had to check out ali but the next time i'll try and get to experience the first class or the business class experience i want to have all that space for myself so if you're visiting mombasa please make sure to go for business class you won't regret it's only three thousand kenyan shillings the difference is only a thousand uh, the difference is only two thousand yeah so these are the views that you have when you're using the day train yeah of course you're not going to see this at night because it's uh will be very dark I wish guys every time because i was so tired but every time i saw like elephant and uh, uh so yeah every time i saw you know the big uh, some of the big fives it was very late for me to record because the train was moving as very fast like by the time we like i'm like opening my camera to just record it and try to show you guys it was very late and we could have already passed the animal i'm so sorry about that but i still enjoyed these views seeing you know those hills that you're seeing there it was amazing i saw so many elephants and i feel bad that i didn't manage to capture any i tried but the clip is very bad it's not even worth putting it here yeah so if you use a day train it's like a safari train oh really it was amazing I had someone uh, saying the experience and that's why I really wanted to use a day train and get to experience more because then again if I chose to use the morning train it would have been very hectic for me I would be sleeping all the way this time and I wouldn't be able to record all these for you my viewers and also for me to create mem memories something to watch in the near future when i'm old and i'll be like telling my kids and my grandkids these are my videos when i used the train maybe at that time there will be other means of transport would, which will be very fast and convenient and very easy yeah so here we got at voi we had to like the people who are like alighting at voi and the others who are boarding from these station and as you can see that they are waiting for us and this was the only stop that we had voi was the only stop and from here we went direct to nairobi madaraka 
guys i was a bit tired not actually a bit tired i was very tired but i really wanted to record uh, this for you guys so that you can see for those who've never used sgr this is the experience yeah and another thing is as you can see these people like living around this area i was just surprised uh, because they are kind of living in the middle of like a wildlife and i was thinking to myself this must be very risky for them but i don't know i've never seen people complaining so this was already at late like when we were almost getting to nairobi as you can see i was very tired here very sleepy the space was you know the table was not that big for us to share it wasn't enough for me to just lay down a bit and uh, relax but i enjoyed every bit of it so here we are already in nairobi madaraka terminus we just arrived we arrived at 8 or 8 18 p.m that is from 3 p.m uh, to 8 18 and as you can see welcome to nairobi terminus as in karibu nairobi kenya yeah so this was an amazing experience for me guys apart from you know being tired i enjoyed every bit of it and i love how beautiful these terminals are and how well taken care they are yeah i'm so happy that we have this sgr train in kenya i'm so happy that it's now uh, more convenient for us to get to mombasa we have more option you can either either use a a taxi to mombasa from nairobi you can use a bus or you can use a train and you have money you can use airplane why not just get a flight and fly all the way to mombasa to enjoy thank you so much guys for watching this video this is going to be the end of our trip and also the end of this video if you've watched me and you haven't subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing also don't forget to leave a like comment and share stay tuned see you on the next episode of kenya the pride of africa